So I encourage you to type along with me. So I'm gonna hash include input output stream. Um, we're gonna, using namespace, standard, and then we have the integer main, and then we have the return zero, semicolon, there you go. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna come upon is, the first thing that I'm gonna be talking about is basically a, an essential component for this programming example, and that is the hash include, so we're gonna hash include one um, component that we need, and that's called the iterator. Now, I know that I haven't covered this, and I have to discuss this really quickly. Now, what is an iterator? It's just like another uh, mechanism for iterating through stuff. Um, the only highlight that I would say that I compare to is something like, you have an array, so you iterate through some indices. So, when you wanna go through something like, something in a non-indexed format, something that is in not in a simple kind of incrementing index system, then we use an iterator. Now, some uh, examples could be like a map, or it could be something, some unordered collection of a set, so unordered set, or anything like that, or just like list. So these are basically unordered, so we could go through these using an iterator. And it's pretty simple to use that. So like for instance, if we have a vector, so if I go just um, include a vector here, so let me just hash include vector here. And now what I wanna do, I wanna create a vector. So I could just say standard colon, colon vector and then we could just say string and then we could have something like planets so we could have planet names and yeah we have to put inside of this so we could say mercury um, and then we could say venus we could say earth and then we say mars so mars and then we could say jupiter saturn Uranus, Neptune. Okay, so then we have like eight planets over here. So eight planets here. And what I wanna do is I wanna traverse through these eight planets. How am I supposed to do that? Well, I could actually use a for loop and just use a traversal very simple int i is equal to um, zero. And then I could just start from, where I could just say i is equal to zero, i is less than the planets dot size method and then I could just go with I plus plus we could have that and then we could just basically increment uh, and then we, it's just going to increment each time and we could just something like we could say planets we use their index to iterate through them so we could just say planet sub I so each index will indicate which planet it's specifying because they're all in contiguous memory allocations right G plus plus and I'm saying so we could just say STL underscore list and then we can just hit that and it's compiled and when we run it we could get all these planet names Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus don't forget that and now this is a way to iterate through it but let's have another way to iterate now another way for this is that we could use a range based for loop now there's a range based for loop that was introduced in C++ 11 so what we could do with a range based so I could say range based for loop so range based for loop and how I could do this is really simple. Let me just go over here and I'm just gonna show you how to iterate through this. So we, ha we have to know what we're iterating through. So we're iterating through over here string, right? So it's right into the range based for loop. It depends on what data type we're talking about. Over here there's planets. So we could just say string planet. So we could just say planet. And then we could just map it. So we could say planets. And if I do this and I just, I don't need a, the thing too, I could just over here, console output and I say planet, I'm supposed to get the same exact thing. So if I could run this code, uh, let me just see if I could just comment this code out. Let me uncomment this portion and hopefully now it should work. So, okay, you can see that the exact same thing, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Jupiter, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. So you mean that vectors are not indexed using their indices, there is a something that's special that's inside and that's actually the iterator. And we could just specify that iterator through something like this. So instead of writing planet, this is actually an iterator that has it as a begin and it has an end function. So you could just say something like simple like this, class, and inside the vector we have a string, right? So we could just say string, and then we could say, say colon colon, and then we could say iterator, iterator, 
and then we can have a name for this. So we could say iterator IT, which is actually a convention. So we could just say iterator IT, and then we just specify that what type of we're talking about. So we could just specify to uh, planets, and then after that, we could just uh, use the basic thing over here. So we could have a for loop properly, and we could say one part where we're defining it, we say it not equal to the, and also one thing I have to uh, specify that it's specifying through the beginning. So I would just add a begin here, and then I say it not equal to the end, um, planets, um, planets dot end. So over here, the end is basically something, an element that is after the last element. It's not necessarily the last element. It's gonna be after it. So end, and then we have the incrementation. Now you could just see like, I could do a plus plus IT, that is like a prefix, or I could do a postfix, whatever I want. The same results are gonna be appearing. And then you could just have this specified here, and it's still gonna give you the same exact result. So let me just run this code again. Okay, now you have an issue over here, it says, planet was not declared in the scope, do you mean planets? Um, now, I'm, how am I gonna uh, run this code? Now, the correction here is that we're gonna dereference the IT in, in this case. It's much better. So save this now, and now run it. So compiled, and now run. So now you can see Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. That's also the way for the iterator to work. So now you can see that unordered structure where there's no indices, that's where our iterators can come through and we could just manipulate, use them instead of using indexes where we could just, that's basically um, restricted in arrays, which are one dimensional and they're, they're locked in, right? Not any flexibility like vectors or like any other STL container or whatever we're talking about or whatever like maps or whatever hash maps and that's basically randomness so stl vector iterators can really come through it